So this is my little pond here, quite a ways from power. I've got a trench in the aeration line from the house up there. I'm going to follow right along this path here to avoid the turnip fields. This pond we dredged out last summer to about uh, eight, nine feet or so. Put all the dirt up on the hillside there. And now we need to aerate it so we can have some fish in there this fall. All right, as you can see, I ran the power from inside of the house through conduit outside. Put in a GFI receptacle underneath the sun porch. And I've also dug in and mounted my 4x4 post. A sack of concrete down there. Just have to fill that in now and get the cabinet mounted. I didn't mount it right to the sun porch just so there was less vibration issues inside the house. All right, so you can see I mounted my post. It's a 8 foot 4x4, a couple feet in the ground with a sack of concrete, filled it back in. Mounting the cabinets is really easy. You just pre drill your leg holes. Uh, Put in your legs, tighten them up most of the way, just leave enough where you can slide the cabinet over. Finish tightening them up and your cabinet is mounted. Just that simple. Next uh, we'll get into trenching the airline. Okay, so I started trenching the airline. Trench in the corner of the pond. You can see digging it down, uh, maybe eight, ten inches. The deeper you go, the better it is. Uh, this is sandy soil so it digs pretty decent. Just rented a trencher, a couple hundred bucks for the day, picked it up on Saturday, so I get it until Monday, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna run all the way back up to the house there, so I'll be working on that next. Well, there's my trench, from the pond all the way up to the house. Hopefully it's deep enough. I'm gonna give it a shot. I probably have to do some hand digging a little bit here and there just to make sure it's all sloping downhill. It only took about you know, 45 minutes or so. Right, I got my hose, airline all rolled out. Got it in there, and the trench laid down somewhat flat. I'm gonna go through working it in, fill it up with dirt, make sure there's no valleys in it for the condensation to sit. So some shovel and some hands and knees work now. Well, I have my airline buried. I found it easiest to you know, just work my way up on my hands and knees, filling it in, making sure there's no valleys in there. Now I'll go back through with a rake and get it all leveled out and tamped down. I have my trench all filled in and leveled out. Gotta admit that took longer than uh, the rest of the project so far. Got it pretty well leveled out, can seat it down now. Now I just have to connect the tubing to the compressor and then Connect the weighted line out of here by the pond out to the diffuser and get it installed and we're set to go. Alright, there's the installed diffuser. It smells a little mucky right now, just turned it on. I'm going to do a slow start because it is August. Don't want to risk turning over the pond even though there are no fish in it right now except some minnows. That's about probably seven feet deep right now, although the water is down because it's such a dry summer. And that'll be good to aerate. Pond is eh, just under a half acre or so. And the major issue, potential issue is winter kill. So this should do the trick.